My name is Gareth Birkinshaw, and I am a freedom fighter. I always have been, and I always will be. I started out my freedom fighting as a, as a combat veteran in uh, Afghanistan and Iraq. And I went back to Afghanistan. That was as an airborne infantryman. And then I did another tour in Iraq as a Chinook pilot. But my ticket got punched, and I don't get to fight that way anymore. But I'm still fighting for freedom, and I'm fighting for your freedom. Freedom for the freedom fighter. I'm so tired of seeing my brothers and sisters that don't know that freedom is their portion. And I'm here to tell you that I was so broken. I was so desperate. I was ready for things to just be over. I didn't want to die, but I couldn't keep going on living the way I was. And I'd been told that there was no hope, but I'm here to tell you, just like you've been hearing on this channel, that there really is an answer. A genuine, true answer that doesn't just last for a little bit of time. This isn't a motivational speech. We all know how to motivate each other. We're veterans. We, we know that false motivation is better than no motivation. But I'm not here to talk about an, a motivational, an emotional experience for you. I'm talking about something that lasts. You've got a life that matters. It was given to you and it has purpose. And so many of us have lost that purpose. We found our identity in what we did. And what we did was honorable and it mattered. But I'm here to tell you that your life has eternal value. And that I found through relationship, not religion. I'm not churchy, I don't like religion at all. And in fact, the one I follow started out by coming against religion. And his name is Jesus. Now that might sound strange, but I'm here to tell you that as a combat veteran who wanted nothing to do with going to church, I didn't need to be part of an organization that was going to tell me the stuff I was doing was wrong. Because I already knew and I didn't care. I didn't need to put my, my uh, drinking money in a plate. I wanted to put that into the bar. So I had no business, being, uh, uh, no desire to be part of a church. Yet, a t-shirt wearing combat veteran called me. A guy that had been there and done that, and he said, listen to this story, and I'm going to be real, real direct with you. If I could have reached the phone and choke slammed this guy, I absolutely would have. He was sitting here telling me about how some guy prayed for him, and I thought, are you kidding me? You're going to come at me with that garbage? But here's the thing. As he was talking to me, I could tell that this guy that I knew suffered worse than anybody else I know. He spent more time in mental health hospitals than anybody else I've met. And now I'm a chaplain at a mental health hospital. Yet he still holds the record. And as he was speaking to me, he wasn't worried about this just being a good day amongst bad ones, which I was told that's what I could expect to have. He wasn't in pain anymore, not physically or emotionally. He was clear-headed, he was sleeping at night, and as he spoke, that dark abyss that I was living in, as I hovered above my own body, watching myself go through these motions that I didn't want to experience, as I was screaming and nobody could hear me, trying to get the message of desperation out from inside me through twisted, jagged metal, which seemed like that was my inside. That was the existence I was living in. And every time I tried to reach out of it to, to exist in the world that I was, I was suddenly in but couldn't seem to, to relate to, all I did was experience torment. He wasn't in that place and he had reached through it and now his words were penetrating that darkness. And so I said, okay. I don't know what I'm doing here, but I went to this place where I knew there would be praying people. And I said, you all got to pray for me. And uh, I heard about it and said, well, okay, we'll pray for you, but we don't want to just do that. We want to we wanna teach you about your identity. And so here's the deal. Either every word in the Bible was going to be true, or none of it was. I'm telling you, if one A or the or it was found to be false, then I wanted nothing to do with it. But I knew that I had surrendered to Uncle Sam in the process of becoming a warrior. And I became a freedom fighter like you guys did, but I had to surrender. And surrender is not a word that we tend to use as, as warriors. But I want to tell you and remind you that every warrior to become effective has had to step into a place of surrender. You had to get up at four something in the morning when you didn't want to. You had to be ready to, to, to run up a hill when you didn't feel like it anymore. You carried more weight than you, you thought was reasonable and it didn't make sense, but you did it because you were told to because you surrendered. Because you believed in something bigger than yourself. Well, it's time to, 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 to step into something that's truly bigger than all of us combined. Something that has eternal value. Something that, that really does require some surrender again. But like being a veteran, 
that initial surrender will lead you into victory after victory after victory and into a place with brothers and sisters uh, 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 that experience camaraderie like you've never experienced it before. And I'm saying that coming from a place of, of uh, combat brotherhood. And I've never experienced camaraderie like I have through the surrender to Jesus. Now listen, this all sounds crazy, but this is what you have to do. You don't have to get churchy about it. You don't need to get on your knees and you might be angry at God. I get it. He's got big shoulders and he can handle it. Simply cry out to him like I did and say, hey, you're either real or you're not. And this is your opportunity to show up. But you need to be a, a man or a woman of your words. If you're gonna be, create the dotted line, when he shows up, you need to sign it and say, okay, I'm in. Whatever you have for me, I'll follow that. I'll be a good soldier. I'll be a good Marine. I'll be a good airman or a good sailor, whatever the case may be. But this time you're doing it in a different army. It doesn't, you don't lose your patriotism. You don't lose your edge, but you do step into victory. And I want to tell you this, your portion will be freedom. You're not going to continue to live nightmare after nightmare. You're going to be able to walk away from your addictions. You're going to be able to walk away from needing medication just to sleep and then a different medication to stay awake when you're supposed to be. A different medication to allow you to go to the store and get the groceries that you need without having a panic attack. A different medication to be able to sit in front of your family and pretend like you love them. You know that you do, but you can't feel it. I get what that's like. But every day, I see my kids and I'm able to express my love to them. I'm able to receive their love for me. And for some of us, that's a desperate cry. I've been to funerals where I couldn't shed a tear for somebody that I loved dearly because I was dead inside and that is no longer the case. It started with a simple surrender. So I want to encourage you as you're watching this to, to reach out to, to those that are hosting this channel or, or wherever they point you and say, okay, I'm ready to surrender. I'm ready to do this thing. Get yourself the training manual, the field manual, and begin to, 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 to follow the directions in it. It's simple, but it's not meant to be churchy. Dive into a relationship and have fun with it. Talk to God like you would anybody else. Be real with your emotions. He created you. He knows that you have emotions and that they're real and that you have a mind. He gave it to you. So engage him with those things that he created you to, to engage him with and be real about it and enjoy the most intimate, the most uh, free relationship you've ever had. You won't regret it. Again, my name is Gareth Birkinshaw with Solutions for Soldiers and freedom is your portion.